Hey cat lovers, welcome back to another video. Just like cats themselves, the cat butt is both interesting and confusing. While you may have never given your cat's butt much thought before, besides the occasional awe when they wiggle around, there is actually much more to learn about it. So in pursuit of better understanding your feline friend, it's worth giving their butt some attention. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to the channel for more cat videos. Now let's reveal 10 fun facts about cat butts. Number one, cats identify each other through butt sniffing. While butt sniffing is a very well-known behavior of dogs, fewer people tend to associate it with cats. But just like their canine counterparts, cats use their butts to communicate with each other. Every cat has their own unique scent that they use to identify themselves. These are called pheromones. More on these later. You can think of pheromones as a business card or name tag. Pheromones basically contain important information about a cat, sexual availability, health, territorial status, and even emotions like stress, and chemical markers that other cats can decipher when they smell it. So, cats exchange pheromones to learn more about each other. The butt, as we will go on to discuss, is a key production site of a cat's pheromones. So, one of the easiest ways for a cat to quickly exchange information with another cat is by presenting their butt for sniffing. This is usually considered friendly behavior, and it is common for familiar cats to sniff each other's butts as a casual greeting. Number 2. A cat's butt has scent glands. Smell plays a very important role in a cat's day-to-day -day life and understanding of the world. They use smell to navigate new environments, interact with others, and mark their territory. Their sense of smell is incredibly sharp, as they have over 200 million scent sensors in their noses. In comparison, humans only have about 5 million. So, as you can imagine, they rely on scent to a much greater degree than we do. As we discussed earlier, cats use scent as a mode of communication. By marking their territory, they can communicate with other cats nearby. They relay personal information about themselves by distributing their pheromones, or chemical signals, into their environment for other cats to smell. Their pheromones are secreted throughout scent glands, which are found all over a cat's body. They are mostly concentrated in their paws, their head, and of course, their butt. So it is not uncommon to see a cat rubbing their butt on furniture or even people as a way to claim them. I bet you won't look at your couch the same way again. While it may seem strange to us, the butt is very important in communication for cats. Number 3. Cats farm bacteria in their butts. Interestingly, scientists have found that cats intentionally farm bacteria in their butts to produce a pheromone spray, which they use to efficiently spread their scent. Even though cats have their own unique pheromones, a lot of the chemicals are created by microbes in the butt rather than through the cat's own body. To better understand this, it's important to better understand the cat's butt itself. Within a cat's butt are anal sacs, in which their pheromone spray is produced and stored. When a cat wants to spread their scent, pheromone spray is released through a duct in the anal sacs. This secretion looks like a small amount of fluid, and as you might have guessed, it smells pretty bad to humans. Researchers at the University of California, Davis, were interested to learn how the secretion was produced in the anal sacs, so they decided to investigate. They discovered that bacteria within the anal sacs contributes to the production of the secretion. The researchers theorized that the bacteria in the anal sacs have a mutually beneficial relationship with the cat. They get a place to live, and the cat gets to outsource its pheromone production. So it seems that cats farm bacteria in their butts to help them produce the chemicals needed for their pheromone spray. Number 4. Cats have butt cheeks. Chances are you don't spend too much time thinking about your cat's butt, meaning you probably spend even less time thinking about your cat's butt cheeks. But now that you're thinking about them, you may find yourself wondering, do they even have butt cheeks? You've probably never noticed them before, so are they actually there? Well, look no further, the answer is yes, cats definitely do have butt cheeks. Even though they are slightly harder to make out since they are covered in fur, cats have the same gluteus muscles on their rears as humans. So, in case you're wondering, now you know. Number 5. A cat's butt is sensitive. Like human butts, cat butts are sensitive. There are a lot of nerve endings, especially sensory nerve endings, concentrated in the anal region, making it a particularly sensitive area in a cat's body. As such, if they are injured or have some ailment affecting their anus, it will be very painful. It is important to know as a cat guardian to ensure that you notice if something is amiss with your cat's butt. In most cases, an infection or injury to the anus will be very painful and require veterinary care. Additionally, because the butt is sensitive, it is important that it is kept clean to reduce the chance of infection. Cats are meticulous groomers and they prioritize hygiene. They will take extra care when grooming their butts to ensure that it is well maintained and clean. However, older cats, long-haired cats, or overweight cats can struggle when it comes to grooming their butts. In these cases, you should pay extra attention to take note of any symptoms of discomfort or uncleanliness. If you notice that your cat's butt is not being well taken care of, or if they are exhibiting any symptoms of discomfort, visit your veterinarian for guidance. Number 6. A cat's butt can indicate parasites. 
Parasite infections are not uncommon among cats, and it is important to be able to recognize them. Worms are the most common parasites to infect cats, from roundworms to hookworms to tapeworms. There are a lot of different ways in which a parasite finds its way into a cat's body, but it's usually through a previous host. Parasites will infect smaller animals like rodents. When a cat eats an infected rodent, the parasite will make their way into the cat's body. Unlike the bacteria we discussed earlier, cats do not have a mutual beneficial relationship with parasites. Parasites are detrimental to a cat's health and they will siphon valuable resources and make the cat weaker and more vulnerable to other infections. Cats who are infected with parasites will likely show gastrointestinal symptoms, which is where the butt comes into play. If you suspect that your cat has parasites, pay close attention to their butt feces. They may have diarrhea or their stool may be bloody or mucousy. You may even be able to see the worms themselves in your cat's poop or around their anus. If you find a worm or if your cat is exhibiting other symptoms, make sure to visit your veterinarian right away for a deworming treatment. Number 7. You can learn about your cat's health through their butt. As the previous two facts have alluded to, a cat's butt can actually be very useful in learning about your cat's health. Since a cat's butt is particularly sensitive, you will likely be able to notice displays of pain or discomfort. One butt-related health issue that is not uncommon among cats is blocked anal glands. While the glands should naturally empty when a cat defecates, they occasionally get blocked. This means that they are unable to secrete the pheromone fluids that they produce. If a gland gets blocked, it will become larger and potentially get infected. This will cause your cat discomfort, which they might exhibit through excessive butt scooting or grooming. You may also notice your cat sitting uncomfortably or showing other signs of pain. There are other health conditions that cats can develop that are related to their butt, including general infections, digestive issues resulting in constipation or diarrhea, or injuries. If you suspect that your cat is in pain, make sure to visit your veterinarian. Whether your cat has a blocked anal glands or a dingleberry, poop that gets stuck in the fur around the anus, your veterinarian will be able to outline steps to resolve the issue. Number 8. Cats wiggle their butts for a reason. One of the cutest cat behaviors is the butt wiggle, though the reason cats do it is not as innocuous as it may appear. The behavior actually traces back to the cat's predatorial roots, and it is a behavior that is also seen in their big cat relatives like the tiger and lion. Cats will often wiggle their butts when preparing to pounce, whether that be on prey or a toy. It is thought that this behavior helps cats adjust their balance and ensure that they are stable and prepared for their attack. Though it isn't known for sure, researchers suggest that this behavior increases traction, preparing the muscles, balance, and vision for an attack. During an attack, precision is very important. Therefore, cats may wiggle their butts to do a quick check on their stability and to prepare their muscles to enact fast, sharp movements during the attack. This behavior is thought to be mostly instinctive, as it is observed in young kittens who are trying to learn how to crouch and pounce. Number 9. There is a reason your cat sticks their butt in your face. If you're a cat guardian, you've probably been greeted with your cat's butt in your face more than once. This behavior can be puzzling, as it doesn't have any apparent purpose. However, there is a reason why your cat sticks their butt in your face with seemingly no motive. There are actually a few reasons, but most of the time a cat will stick their butt in your face to simply say, hello. This is an affectionate behavior that conveys trust and friendliness. In many ways, cats treat humans like bigger cats. So many of their behaviors can seem odd to us, but are actually just basic cat-to-cat -cat communication. As we've discussed, the butt plays an important role in a cat's communication. They will sniff each other's butts as a greeting and as a way to exchange information. Therefore, when your cat sticks their butt in your face, they are often just being friendly. They may also be looking for attention or inviting you to pet them. Either way, a butt to the face is a flattering gesture, even though it may not seem like one. Though you may be caught off guard at first, you should take it as a compliment. Number 10. Newborn kittens need their butts stimulated. Since the most notable thing that butts do is defecate, we couldn't leave out a fact related to the topic. You may be surprised to learn that newborn kittens can't pee or poop on their own until they are 3 or 4 weeks old. Until then, their mother helps them urinate and defecate with the stimulation of her tongue. Talk about a mother's love, right? In fact, if newborn kittens become orphaned, their human caregivers have to take over the mother's, let's say, bathroom duties. But don't panic, no tongues are involved. Instead, the caregiver has to use a soft tissue to rub the kitten's appropriate regions in a circular motion. If the kitten has to pee, the genital region is rubbed. If the kitten has to poop, the anus region is rubbed. This stimulation is done until and while the kitten urinates or defecates. The more you know. Now that we've gone over the list, it's time for Cat of the Week. This video's Cat of the Week is Smokey. His guardian says, Smokey is a seven-year-old Russian Blue. We adopted him right after my brother was born, and they have been best friends ever since. He had an older sister named Sadie who was a boxer. She was put down recently, and our cat misses her dearly. Currently, he is living his best life despite our chaotic life. 
He is in charge of all of us, making him the king of our home. Congratulations, Smokey. Keep being possum. To enter your cat for a chance to be featured, visit the entry link in the description box below. So which of these facts about cat butts surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catter Day for another video.